Well, Aung San Suu Kyi was sentenced to two years for the illegal importation and possession of six walkie-talkies, as well as possessing a signal jammer, and also two years for breaching COVID-19 restrictions. These were all charges laid after the military coup almost 12 months ago now. Uh, supporters of Aung San Suu Kyi say that these charges, as well as all the charges that she has been, uh, that have been laid against her, are trumped up, that it, it's all complete fabrication designed to bring her down politically and keep her away uh, from the junta and enable it to spend time consolidating and legitimising, attempting to leg legitimise its power. Now, Aung San Suu Kyi is also facing several other charges. What are those charges and what sort of penalties could she face as a result? Well, if we look at last month as a guide when she was, char when she was convicted rather of... Uh, incitement as well as breaching coronavirus restrictions then she was given four years uh, for those offences and then that was reduced to two on humanitarian grounds by the junta leader min online but they were really just the smaller charges of what she's facing she still has to look ahead to charges in court of uh, electoral fraud corruption and violating the official state secrets act that last charge has a maximum penalty of 14 years on its own and if on san suu Kyi is found guilty of all of the charges levelled against her, uh, she could face a combined maximum total of more than 100 years in jail. Now there's also an Australian on trial in, in the midst of all this, Professor Sean Turnell. What's the latest on him? Sean Turnell's trial has been ongoing uh, alongside on San Suu Kyi and I should add that both of these trials have been held in secret behind closed doors with no international observers, diplomats, journalists uh, or anybody allowed into the courtroom. Lawyers have been gagged from speaking. The prosecutors aren't speaking either. So it's only through leaks that we're able to get this information. Uh, Sean Turnell's trial is ongoing but uh, we haven't had too much detail about it. He's facing a charge of violating the official state's Secrets Act that attracts that 14-year maximum penalty. Australian diplomats have been banned from the court. Uh, we know that the Australian ambassador to Myanmar did speak to Sean Turnell on the 13th of December, but the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade is not releasing any details about that phone conversation. No doubt they spoke about how the trial is going, how he is faring, uh, but uh, we have got very few details, uh, nothing out of the court and certainly nothing out of DFAT uh, on that. But we are expecting to hear some more on that trial in the coming weeks. Ms Zoe, it's almost one year since the military seized power in a coup there in Myanmar. What's the situation there like now? Well, if we look at the statistics, it's very grim indeed. More than 1,400 people have been killed by security forces, according to the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners. And the same group says that almost 9,000 people have been arrested during that time. Uh, some people have already been sentenced. And, of course, thousands of people have been injured. Uh, the people of Myanmar did not accept a military coup right from the very beginning. Uh, what started as banging pots and pans in defiance then turned in, into hundreds of thousands of people taking to the streets. We've also seen a strong civil disobedience movement. Of course, when security forces started cracking down on all of that violence, uh, there were not as many people turning out onto the streets, but they still continue to defy the junta in various ways by uh, not uh, accepting uh, a military education, not going to a military hospital, uh, not turning out to uh, operate um, railways, engineering firms, etc. Uh, so the, the defiance is still very clear but as is uh, the junta's desire to continue to rule Myanmar is still there it's craving legitimacy uh, recently the Cambodian Prime Minister visited coup leader Min online in Myanmar uh, much to the anger of many people inside the country as well as around the Association of Southeast Asian Nations uh, but there have been many diplomatic efforts uh, uh, to try to get the junta uh, to uh, stop the violence, allow aid in, start talks. Uh, but so far, nothing has been successful. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, as we enter year two after this coup what will happen. Still a very fluid situation. Ms. Zoe Ford, thank you.